CloudView is an advanced customer relationship management and monitoring platform that allows users to manage and monitor all of their customers and servers in a centralized location. Today we'll be taking a quick look at the CRM and monitoring functionality of CloudView. The entry point to Comet CloudView is from your Comet dashboard area. Starting from the dashboard, we can see that there is a CloudView button in the top right. The first two times you use this, you will be taken to an intermediary page where provisioning takes place and a brief overview of the CloudView services provided. Subsequent uses will take you directly to your CloudView portal. Welcome to Comet CloudView. This is the home page where we can see a number of widgets appear by default. Here we have a feed providing information on recent Comet updates, a widget summarizing protected item statuses, and a widget providing us with information on the status of monitored Comet servers. Additional status widgets can be added to summarize any desired grouping of protected items. Examples could include protected items belonging to a certain customer, protected items of a certain type, and protected items on a given server, among many other possibilities. CloudView allows you to add users to any of your Comet servers based on custom account plans that you have pre-configured to establish account limitations, initial quota, storage settings, and more. Once users have been added or detected by CloudView, they appear on the View Customers page. This page provides an overview of details such as names, usernames, and email addresses, as well as a number of statistics such as the amount of data being protected for a customer, their quota, and more. This page can be filtered using our advanced search system to provide highly specific results. Useful searches can be saved and reused in the future, and results can be exported in CSV format using the Save View action at the top of the page. Many additional filters will be added in the near future to expand upon this functionality. Clicking on the name of a customer will take you through to their details area, but we'll get back to that shortly. Moving on to the monitoring functionality of CloudView, let's take a look at the event log. The event log is the primary location for viewing the combined current status and recent job history of all protected items in CloudView, as well as customer quota usage and device status. When problems are occurring, functionality is available to quickly perform remedial actions. We can run backups for online customers, modify protected items, take notes, and add items to our watch list. Moving on to the watch list, the watch list is structured similarly to the event log, but contains only protected items that the user has specifically elected to watch. There is also a mini watch list accessible in the top right corner of the interface at all times. Now we'll click through to the details page for this customer. This is the customer details page. It can also be accessed from the various other pages that contain customer information, including the view customers page that we saw earlier. In the top right of this page, we have an overview of the customer profile. Most of this is information that is gathered on sign up and it can be viewed in more detail or edited by opening the edit dialog. Also at the top of this page, we can access the account configuration editor and view account details including quota usage and a detailed breakdown of data usage for protected items and storage faults on the account. Moving down, we again have protected items complete with all of the interaction capabilities present on the event log as well as storage faults. Both of these have an editor which can be used to modify their configuration. Finally, at the bottom of the page, we have graphs showing data storage and upload statistics over time. The Comet CloudView trial is restricted to monitoring for 10 users. If you'd like to activate the full CloudView experience, simply click the yellow trial icon in the top right, then click Activate Comet CloudView to begin. Thanks for watching this overview of Comet CloudView. If you have any questions, please feel free to create a CloudView support ticket in Comet Dashboard or use the help toolbar on our website.